What can I tell you about Hanukkah? We're gonna talk about the light of the candles and why we put it on the windowsill with the shoulders in the middle of the city. Thing it's my girlfriend cooking. She burns the kitchen so well. Yes, we on the mountains show. Yes. It is the Hanukkah story of the Munches show. It's the Munches, the Munches, the Munches, the Munches. Oh, I love the fucking Munches. Oh, the Hanukkah story of the Munches show. It's the Munches, the Munches, the Munches, the Munches, the Munches. Is the eighth candle of Hanukkah, the last night. <sighs> Thank God. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to believe it. Barbara Streisand okay. makes kugel. Oh, hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having some of my Manish Shevitz. Welcome and thank you for joining me, Barbara Streisand, here all the way in Brooklyn. We are going to be cooking today. That's right, cooking, and we are going to be making some of my wonderful, fabulous Jewish noodle kugel. People who need kugel. Now, Meshuggahness, let me talk to you a little bit about the history of Jewish noodle kugel. It's a very, very popular dish in the Jewish religion, in the Jewish tradition. But it all started out, I remember when, many, many, many years ago, where people were making kugel as dumplings, and they used to steam it in a pot. And then, with the invention, of ovens, people said, you know what? We should actually do this as a casserole dish. So the first step in all of this is you want to get a pot of boiling water ready to go because you're gonna put egg noodles inside a rolling pot of water and you're gonna put it in there for about eight to nine minutes and it should be soft. Happy days are here again. We're setting up this kitchen. So let's have some fun, enjoy the food. Noodle kugels here for you. Here we go. You're gonna do two cups of cottage cheese, two cups of sour cream. You can do low fat, of course. Oh, low fat, please. We are going to place our six eggs right on top. Quarter of a cup sugar. And now we're gonna just mix this all around. So you can use the spatula, you can use the whisk, whatever you like. And you don't have to whisk too much of it. Don't worry too much. Just do it lightly. Looks wonderful, looks fabulous. Now, add a little bit, about a teaspoon of cinnamon because we're gonna make this nice and sweet. So strain those noodles. I'm gonna add this to the bowl with all the other stuff we just did. The finishing touches we have to put our butter in. <laughs> Don't tell me not to live, just sit in butter. We're making noodle kugel with lots of butter. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my noodle kugel. Okay, so now we come back in and we pour that on just like that. It's all melted, it looks fabulous. And you're mixing this all around just like this. And one thing that I love to do is add about three quarter cup of raisins. And this is looking wonderful. It's like love, soft as a noodle kugel. Okay. And so now that we've mixed all of our ingredients together, the last step is to put it in a nine by 13 casserole dish, which I've lightly greased. I like to put some cinnamon on the very top, just so it caramelizes. You like that word? Caramelizes a little bit. And we're gonna put that in the oven at 375, for about 35, 40 minutes, and it's gonna come out lovely, just like you. Sometimes what I do is I sing to the kugel, so I just do a little bit of kugel. Can you hear me, kugel? Can you see me, kugel? Are you ready to come out of the oven? Kugel, are you near me? Kugel, can you see me? Kugel, you are not forgotten. It always helps, try it at home. Now we have just taken our Jewish noodle kugel out of the oven and look at how fabulous this looks. Does this not look terrific or what? When you pull up, you'll see how light and airy and fluffy it is. 
just like that. Do you see the inside? Oh, yeah, this is too much to handle. I can't take it. And of course, let me try it out because it looks just like I want it to look. Mm. It's better than you know what. I can't say, James, I love you, honey, I do. But sometimes all you need is Google, honey. That's really all you need. To get this fabulous recipe, please click on the link below. And now we are going to light the Hanukkah candles. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kedishonu v'mitzvotah v'tzivanu l'halik ner, Shul Hanukkah. Oh my God, it's so bad. Sorry, I started out all right, and then I went crazy. I don't understand it myself. My name is Danny Love, I have a great Hanukkah and a wonderful, wonderful night. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. For a schmuck.